there is a great and long canon. And I often think about the way that it's a canon that doesn't love people like us back. I was really thinking about Susan Sontag's illness as metaphor, where she essentially says the, the healthiest way of being ill is one that is completely purged of metaphor. And of course, in literally within the first page, she uses metaphor. There's a thin line between talking about your body and trying to convince someone that you're human. The community that I come from doesn't have a robust canon. Because in order to, quote unquote, integrate into spaces that we were not welcome in, um, uh, we had to sort of sublimate the things that made us not, you know, as quote unquote acceptable or to, to the mainstream. Perhaps the erasure as a form uh, is is an inherited form of, of deaf and disabled folks um, and perhaps oppressed folks everywhere. This is the detritus of everyday life that Wallace Stevens was always saying we had to kick to the curb in poetry. My concept of disability poetics is that it's essentially a poetics of liberation. That like nuance, the claiming of vulnerability as just part of life is a really key part of that. Disability justice and disability poetics give us a plane where we can question what actually poetry is. What it is as poets we are after. Uh, what are we pursuing? And that was really challenging. It was tough to find sort of my own way. Part of what I was trying to do in this project was sort of push back against this notion that pain absolutely destroys our capacity to speak about it. And we find ways to move around it, but I wish instead that we would just reject the premise of the question. That line is hard to navigate. That's the metaphor, right? It's a way in which form very much represents the reality of our lives.